Good morning and welcome to the Take Your Life Back Today Show. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today Show. I want to talk about the Ten Commandments, and I'm going to give you the King James Version. Uh, each and every day, uh, God really instructs us, wants us to obey these Ten Commandments. God's law, the Ten Commandments, is expressed in Exodus 20, 2 through 17 with the following I am the Lord thy God which I have brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage so here are the Ten Commandments commandment number one and some of them I'm going to give you de definitions for uh, or details and some of them are very self-explanatory but commandment number one thou shall not have no other God before me and that includes for you folks that are out there as hobbies and uh, anything that's super important, that should never ever be in front of God. Commandment number two is thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is on earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord, Thy God am jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and shewing mercy into thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. That was commandment number two. Commandment number three is thou shalt not make uh, take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold them hold him uh, guiltless that taketh his name in vain commandment number four remember the Sabbath day which my wife and I just decided to do one day a week Sundays to be the Sabbath day we really wanted to have our businesses take off and do seven days a week but I realized that I do need that one day Sabbath day to keep it holy six days shalt thou labor which we are and do all thy work but the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord thy God, and it is thou shalt not do any work, thou shalt <clears throat> nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant nor thy cattle nor thy stranger uh, that is within their gates, or thy gates, I should say. For in the six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea, and all of them is and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Commandment number five, honor thy father and thy mother, and thy days may be long upon the land in which the Lord the God giveth thee. No matter how many trials you're facing in life, folks, you have to honor thy mother and your father. Commandment number six is thou shalt not kill. That is a self-explanatory. And you know what? That's not just talking about humans. I'm talking about kill in general. Now, there is such thing as, uh, as, as, as I don't want to use the word kill, but in, in order to eat, we, we have to sacrifice. Even in the Bible, they sacrifice meat and you know lamb and, 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 and goat and, she and sheep and, and uh, cows. Number seven is thou shalt not commit adultery. For anyone that doesn't understand what that means, if you're out there and you're married and you're cheating, that's adultery. Commandment number seven, thou shalt not commit, uh, commit adultery. Stop what you're doing. Remember that you took a vow till death do you part. Stick to that vow. Commandment number eight, thou shalt not steal of any sort. Doesn't even matter if it's just a Reese's peanut butter cup to a bat, robbing a bank. Thou shalt not steal. If it's not yours, it's not for you to take. Commandment number nine, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. The, the, basically, it really means is to, to treat everyone equally. Stop with the rumor mill. Stop with the uh, uh, trash talking other people. And commandment number ten is thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife nor the, uh, his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, his ass, or anything that is thy neighbor's. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. These were the Ten Commandments, the King's James Version. Thou shalt not uh, 
uh, have any other gods before God. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. Remember, we all need a Sabbath day. Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Folks, Ten Commandments. Live by them. Utilize them. Make sure that each and every day, as if God was your manager in your life, because he does guide and control you, if you allow him to, that you have that on your checklist. These Ten Commandments should be on your checklist each and every day to make sure that you are not violating, breaking any one of these commandments. Yes, we're human. We all make mistakes, folks. But if you live by the Ten Commandments, you will live by the word of Scripture. God had given you 86,400 seconds to live today. Utilize them to make the best, to make a difference in the world, to praise God. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. And remember this, for God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son. How many of you parents and grandparents would give up your children and grandchildren for the sake of other people? Well, God did that with his son for your sake and for mine. Let today be the first day of your new life. 844-405-HELP is the number to call. And God is the reason that you want to live a long life. Because God is the reason that you are here. God is the reason that you're breathing. God is the reason that you're watching me. And God will be the reason for your future. Allow him to. 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives. God, may God bless each and every one of you on this rainy Saturday down here in Colonial Heights, Virginia. And remember not to forget commandment number four, a Sabbath day, tomorrow Sunday. Praise God. Praise God each and every day. But tomorrow, don't work and praise God. Relax and praise God. And may God bless you.